Hello! Today I've um, been on Amazon again, shopping, and their deal things, and I decided to buy this Tack Life Professional AC Line Splitter. Now, what is an AC Line Splitter, you ask? Well, this is an AC Line Splitter. So, it has a UK plug at one end, it plugs into a wall receptacle. You then plug your load into this Chinese uh, death adapter end, which has got UK plug, USA plug, EU plug, whatever. I don't know why I couldn't just made a UK one, but it saves money, I guess. And then you have, well, what you do is you put your clamp meter around there, and you get, as you can see in this one, you get one times and a ten times. Why would you need a one and a ten times, you ask? If you have a really, really small current, if you take it up to times ten, then you get a lot more accurate reading on your clamp meter, and then you just divide by 10 to get to the exact number. So you plug in the wall, put your load on, then put your clamp meter around it, and you can see what load each side's running. Uh, well, there must be a line down one side and neutral down the other. Right, let's plug it in and give it a go. Right, here is my aforementioned socket. Now I'm going to plug the adapter into it, and then I'm going to plug in the uh, typical power meter, you know the one you press the button that tells you power factor, and current, rating, voltage, all that. I'm going to plug that into the end of that, it's getting a bit precarious over there, and we'll plug our load into the end of that, put a clamp meter on it, and see what we got. Now it needs a load. For the load I have chosen this very attractive 3 compact fluorescent light work light. Finished in attractive dusty red. So let us unfangle its bit wire and plug it in. Plug. Right, let us plug it in. It's getting a bit precarious to set up over here. Turned on. No sparks and flames so far, which is always good. Right, let us reposition. Oh no, you can actually read it from there. So that's 242 volts. Let's set it to amps. Currently pulling 0 0.32 amps. So if we get our trusty Unity clamp meter, set it to 2 amps. Should zero out. Zeroed out. Uh, can't see the things from here, so I'm going to assume this one's times one. And it is. Can, oh, they can't even see it, which is slightly. Oh, can I get them both in shot? There we go. So the power meter, the plug in power meter, is reading 0 0.34. And hey, the clamp meter is 0 0.34 as well. So if I move that to the 10 times, you should now get 3.4 amps. Also helps if I do that. 3.6 amps. That could be variances in the meter itself. Oh no, that says 0 0.35. Ah, the lamps must be heating up. 3.687 something versus 0 0.37. You can see you can see they're very close to each other. Not quite a times one. Why is this any better than the standard pluggy in type one that actually gives you more information like power factor, watts, hertz, I mean frequency, voltage, all the other bits? I suppose it might be more useful if you've only got a plug size space to put that in and you still want to test the load of something. It must be something you can't take away and test the load of. I, I don't know. There, there, I think this is cheaper than this, slightly. But, I mean, it's good, like I say, you can get it into tighter spaces, you can't get this into. I think this might be slightly more waterproof than this. Nah, don't quote me on that, though, I wouldn't, don't quote me on that. But it works. What we should do now is open it up and see what it's like inside. Oh, somebody likes me.
on. Do. Come on. Three. And. Four. Does that let us inside? It does. Once we uh, adjust these stickers. Oh, that one just fell off. The all obligatory quality made in China. Oh, I'm going to go that way. Oh, that's nice. That's actually. So you've just got straight live connection, straight over that side. Does that look live? No. That would be the neutral connection. Right. Imagine plug that way. Earth, live, neutral. So that's live. Which is that one. Which is this coil. Times 10 coil. The blue is the earth. And the red one is... Um, neutral. This isn't confusing as latest. So, of course, you do get a ten time, times ten reading over both of those, or just one of those, because that's just one part there. It looks not too bad. It's just soldered connections. Bit of captain tape. I'm not going to unfank it and see if it has actually 10 things. It's not too terrible. You could change this out if you could make another and make an actual UK one. No seals of any variety, so not waterproof. What? Well, let's have this in the right way around, aren't we? Nope, fail. But yeah, no, I can live in my toolbox and if I need to check the current of anything plugged in, I can just fire that in and see if it's carrying about the other spoon, I suppose. Takes up less space in your toolbox. Not a lot less, well, a little bit less space. Anyway, I think it was only £10 on Amazon or something, so. Not three bands.